We have all come here together, over there, Andy Warhol. We have this chance to combine music and art and films all together. We're sponsoring a new band, it's called The Velvet Underground. And me, I'm in a rock and roll band. That was my first time in New York, and I was appalled. This place is filthy. <laughs> Cinema, money, parties. It was outrageous. People came because the cameras were running. They thought they could become famous. At the center of it is the exploding art world. It opened your eyes to a lot of possibilities. We started getting a following, but a lot of radio stations wouldn't play our stuff. The sound, not only was it new, but it was radically different. We were studying natural harmonics. Shiny, shiny. Lowe's music was very heavy. Everything he does in that craggly voice of his resonated. That weirdness, it shouldn't have existed in this space. His music sounded like nothing else. And all of a sudden, it would stop like that, and the audience would be dead silent. The Velvet Underground had hypnotized them. Lou always was very clear that there's no difference between being a writer of the book and a writer of the lyrics. The artist is not with society. He's different. I was interested in communicating to people who were on the outside. They were going to blaze a trail, which eventually they did. Good evening. We're your local Velvet Underground.